another day, another dino crime. I'm getting told for this copper light. Well, I hope you're not getting too old for the chase. Ugh, why do they always run? We've got a few questions for you, Sino. There's no running from the law. Slither out of this one. We're taking you to the station. <laughs> Claws up, Trudon. <laughs> we got a runner. This way. Oh, oh, he's getting away. You get around that side. He's going over. <laughs> I think he's ready to talk. Aren't ya? Nice work, partner. One of them is going down for this. You're making this personal, partner. How can I not? One of them tried to eat my dad. Let's stick to the facts. Facts? The only fact I care about is that dino teeth are like fingerprints. And this curved tooth belongs to our perp. Right. So all we have to do is wait for the x-ray lab results and we'll know who committed the crime. I can't wait that long. I need results now. Let's start with that one. Sign in at the source. This will all go away if you would just kindly open up your mouth and show us your teeth. Yeah, open up, sign in at the source. Don't think we'll take no for an answer. Cause we won't. No match, partner. Thank you for your cooperation. You are free to go. Get out of my face. Just have discovered fossilized brachiosaurus eggs in long lines like this. Their theory is that brachiosaurs would have laid their eggs while they were walking. They couldn't think of a better way to get their eggs to the ground. Well, it's better than that. Brachiosaurus are some of the largest creatures that ever existed. They're way too huge to see where they're stepping. Correct. They also couldn't sit on their eggs like chickens, so laying their eggs this way gave the baby brachiosaurus their best chance at survival. Something tells me we're going to have to survive that next. Oh, you're right. Baby brachiosaurus would make a nice snack for a hungry Trudon. Brachiosaurus, come back here! There's a Trudon trying to eat us! Come back! <sighs> She's really not coming back, is she? Nope. <laughs> Tina, what are we going to do? We're not as massive as our parents. Don't worry, Sara. Everything is going to be okay. Sister promise. But how am I going to defend myself? You don't have to defend yourself. Because I'll defend you. Thanks, sister. 
But look, there's two more Trudon! There might be two of them, but there's way more of us. electricity she was feeling meant that another prehistoric sea creature was close by, but she didn't know what it was. The Megalodon wasn't afraid. She has no predators, only prey. As the Megalodon tracked its prey, the electricity got more and more powerful. And then the Megalodon could see the creature she was tracking. It was a plesiosaur, and it had no idea it was being hunted. The Megalodon struck quickly, using the element of surprise. But the plesiosaur wasn't going down without a fight. It used its flippers and teeth to keep the Megalodon at bay. But the Megalodon was sneaky and managed to get close. It looked like the Megalodon was going to win. The plesiosaur had small scratch from wrestling the Megalodon. So now the smell of its blood filled the Megalodon's nostrils as it tracked the plesiosaur through the ocean's depths. The plesiosaur could swim, but it couldn't hide. Because when the plesiosaur stopped bleeding, the Megalodon could still sense the plesiosaur's electricity to track him down. The Megalodon knew exactly where to find the plesiosaur. And she did what Megalodons do best, attack. So the plesiosaur did what plesiosaurs do best, defend. The two prehistoric sea creatures battled in the ocean's depths. So squeaky. Sorry, I'm size of the sores. What are you doing in a supermarket? Are you looking for food? Well, you're herbivore. I think the vegetables are over. There. Oh. Hey, Dromaeosaurus. Looks like this carnivore has found some food, too. In size of source food. Now I can do Dino Experiment 712. How does the Dromaeosaurus track its prey? <laughs> Wait up, Dromy! <laughs> so squeaky! <laughs>
we close to the Gigantoraptor yet? So close. Mom, Gigantoraptor, let me see those teeth. Squawk! Dad, we have to speed up. What? I can barely hear you, and I can't see under this thing. I'll tap. Go to your right. Uh, more right. Time to test my hypothesis, Gigantoraptor. Squeak! Wait, where are your teeth? You don't have any. Dad, you can stop moving. I need to process this. Can you process this off of my shoulders? Sure. A nest? Now you're hunting for eggs, but you don't know who this nest belongs to. Titanus! That nest belongs to that terror bird. I'm not so sure you want to take her on, smile it on. Titanus use their hook beaks to tear their prey apart. You better run, smile it on! so that they could get an egg. Maybe my team can score a goal the same way. All I have to do is wait. And wait. Dana? Shh. Yes, Mother? Mother? Are you cleaning your room? I'm about well, if you don't, you'll be eating your dinner in there, too. No, 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 get it done! Be careful, Europosaurus. I'm supposed to clean my room, not destroy it even more. I've got to get you out of here. Come on, let's go. Move back. so small. You're really pushing it today, Dana. I can explain. You always can, but I don't want to hear it. Did you go around the whole house? <sighs> now you're making a mess in here. An old experiment paused. I need to get you out of the house. And fast. You want more of this? Mm. Then follow me. before mom gets back inside. <laughs> Sauropods like you had long teeth which were perfect for pulling leaves right off the plant. Oh, it's all my fault that you're even in here, Europosaurus. Wait, I wonder what the other dinos are eating. One dino at a time. Europosaurus, come in with me. <laughs> Attempt number 
number four failed. And now the Brocky's leaving. Dana? What are you doing with my treasure chest? It wasn't me. It was the Brachiosaurus. I tried to get him to smash it open, but instead, he pushed it into the ground. Not so fast, Giganotosaurus. You may think you're the biggest and baddest dino in the West. There's someone I think you should meet. should be scared, Jigga. Why would she be scared? Diplodocus is one of the biggest herbivores of all time. Herbivore? How is that there herbivore gonna scare that there carnivore? Don't you worry. The Diplodocus has a secret weapon. Go ahead, Diplodocus. Make her day. We better take cover. It's a giant dino showdown. Show them what you got! That tail is just like my whip, only much, much bigger. Up against the giant Donna Whip, are you, Giganotosaurus? <laughs> Go to Plotticus! Yeah! <laughs> nice work, Deputy to Plotticus. You scared off the Giganotosaurus. Now let's get you some celery to celebrate a job well done. 